Just going to do a quick video on these gauges, understanding what they mean and how to use them. So first of all you want to choose a set with some good quality leads and long hoses. These are the longest I can find. The longer they are, it helps with fitting, uh, filling. It stops slugging the compressor. There's a compressor there. But it helps when you're filling it, it gives it time to vaporise before it gets into the system. So that's one good thing. These are high quality, these are. Good quality connections. These side pieces just store your connections so dust doesn't get into them, that's a good point. Good quality connections on each one. Really good quality hoses. Metal body, so you know it's going to be long lasting. The sight glass is important, so you can see the refrigerant going past. Obviously a hook so you can hook it on. So these are all things you want to be looking for when you buy a set of gauges. Don't buy cheap ones because I bought a set of cheap ones that lasted five minutes. These have lasted me three times longer already. So basically the gauges, you have a pressure reading on the outside. This is the low side, high side. This one goes up to 120 PSI, this one goes up to 450. Basically a good reading would be about 35 to 40 and about 200 on this side. The numbers on the inside, if you have a look, it's got R1234, 134A, 437, same on this side. Basically that's the gases. And basically you can use that for more advanced fault finding. So say if you're at 35 degrees, that's at 35 PSI on the low side, using 134A, that's about 4 degrees Celsius. So you should check your evaporator and it should be about 4 degrees Celsius. And the same for this side for your condenser, so 200 with 134A should be about 50, 60 degrees, 55 degrees so basically you can just use it for more advanced fault finding I don't know a lot about that myself at the minute so that's just what little I do know so far but yeah these are an excellent set of gauges really good quality good quality fittings metal body, sight glass does all the gases for each car, each uh, from like 1995 up to about 2000, the latest cars. But really, all you need is the PSI gauges anyway. That's for more advanced fault finding. That's about it.